This is the first of a new set of videos about using Microsoft Word 2003 and looking at the very basics. And in this first lesson, we're going to be looking at how to open and close Microsoft Word and open and close documents inside Microsoft Word. There are many ways that computers can be set up. So I'm going to show you two or three different ways and hopefully one of these will work on your computer. The most normal way to access this is by using the Start button. Now again, depending on which version of Windows you have, that Start button might look different. It might actually say the word Start on it. I'm using Windows 7 here. But when you click on the Start button, you might find Microsoft Word in this list at the top. If you do, all you need to do is click once where it says Microsoft Word, and the application will open. If it's not there, you might have to go looking because this is a list of frequently used programs. If it's not there, simply come down and point to all programs. Then we are looking in the menu system. Again, you might find it somewhere here at the top. You need, just need to have your eyes open, have a good look round. If you can't find it, scroll down to look for the Microsoft Office folder and inside the Microsoft Office folder with a single click you will find Microsoft Office Word 2003. Clicking once will open the application. Once you have the application open we can close it again either using the close icon at the top right hand side the big red button with the cross on or we can use the menu system. We can come across to File and down to Exit. Now that's two ways. There are lots of ways to do things with Microsoft. There's always more than one way. You might know another way. That's absolutely fine. But that's closing the application. Sometimes your computer may have been set up with a shortcut to the application on your desktop. A shortcut is an icon on your desktop that you can double click to open the application. If I single click, just click once with the mouse, you can see that the icon is selected, but nothing is happening. But we can see that it's a shortcut, the arrow, to Microsoft Office 2003. Just before I move on, a little warning about clicking. I often see users click, 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 clicking away on the computer. Single clicks are 90% of the time all you need. If you click more than once, it can actually slow the computer down. Train yourself to use a single click. Apart from in those instances where a double click is actually required. That is generally when you are trying to run an application, to open an application, such as we're trying to do here on the desktop. It's a little bit complex. It's about file types and um, making applications run. And I don't want to go into that particularly. But just remember, my word of advice is single click. Pause. If nothing has happened that you want to happen, then you consider doing a double click. In this instance, though, it is a double click that we require. So you just point at the application with your mouse and double click and the application opens. I mentioned closing the application. We looked at it when I opened this last time. We did file or down to down to exit. And we've also got these buttons at the top right hand side. Now these buttons are often called control buttons and we'll look at the rest in later videos. But that's the control button we're looking for. Close. Now you can actually open documents in much the same way as we've just looked at opening the application there. I've got a document ready here. It's called the Quick Brown Fox Jumps Over the Lazy Dog. Again, because I can see this document on my computer, I can use the double click in order to open it. And it won't just open the document, it'll open the application as well. And that's kind of why the double click works, because really 
it's opening the application with this document inside. So let's try that. Double click. And there is the application open with my document open as well. Now we've got a document open, one that's been used. We have another across icon on our menu bar, and I'll talk about the, all these bars and icons later. Remember the top one was to close the application. The next one down closes the window, which in effect means closes the document that was open. Then I'll close the application. We'll just do that again. Double click the document. Opens the application with the document. Then we can close down the document or the application. We can also close down the document using File and Close. And that just closes the document. Finally, in this introductory video, two more ways to open a document. The first is to use the open icon that is on the toolbars. If I click that button once, it opens the open dialog box, and then I can navigate around on my computer until I find the document I want. Now, this series is not about navigating computers that's in another series of videos so hopefully you can work around and know how to navigate these folders there's the document i'm looking for a quick down fox jumps over the lazy dog a single click and then open or a double click so i like the single click and open and there's the document open again we'll close that down with the close window icon and just show you that that's the icon for open but we can also get that same icon off the file menu file and then open and again that opens a dialog box for us to open documents there's the one i want and open and there's the document open so we've looked at Opening the application, the application is Microsoft Word 2003. We've looked at opening documents, which is where we put our writing. And we've looked at closing the document or the window and closing the application. Open up Word, have a play around with opening and closing.